opportunity to, to name uh, an executor, uh, and a, you know, a common question that comes up is how many should I name? Should I name co-executors? Should I name you know several alternates? Um, you know, the truth is there's no right answer. It's generally easier to have individual fiduciaries serving for you. So one executor is, is easier logistically than having co-executors or, or um, you know, uh, something like that because of just the, the signature uh, logistics, that kind of thing, especially if you have out-of-state executors, uh, if you're trying to coordinate between the two of them, it ends up being sort of a longer strategy or longer uh, logistical issue because of coordinating via mail or, or uh, you know, having to line up travel to come to North Carolina to, to coordinate things. Um, I generally like to do what's called building out the bench, where you're essentially appointing at least one, if not two alternates behind your primary. Generally, if it's a married couple, each other will be the, the primary named in each other's wills. So the husband for the wife, the wife for the husband. If it's a single individual, then they're generally naming siblings or parents or potentially adult children. Um, some people will name uh, you know, close friends or neighbors, those sort of things, people that they know and trust to act on their behalf. But generally putting at least one, if not two alternates in place, make sure that if plan A doesn't work, then plan B is still solid. If plan B doesn't work, then plan C is still solid. So I generally recommend naming one uh, alternate at least, uh, if not two or three.